Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to another two-day vlog. So my weekends are Mondays and Tuesdays, so it's my weekend vlog. And I've already filmed it, but I'm realizing it's going to be lengthy. So it might be broken up into two parts. I'm just starting to edit it now. And it's very lengthy. I did some errands. I rearranged my whole puzzle shelf. I did two puzzles, decluttered the kitchen. It's a long one, lots of good stuff in it. So I might have to split it up into two separate days. I think that's what I'll do. I'll do Monday and Tuesday as separate videos, but there's puzzle stuff in each one. So just thought I would give you a little heads up. And plus the intro to the video didn't quite make sense as what actually happened. So you'll start off the vlog with me going to breakfast and then doing a couple errands and then you'll be able to get caught up with the Emily from yesterday. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog and again stay tuned for part two they'll be coming out afterwards. Good morning little boy. Oh hey baby. I just went to Crave Coffee. I got their pumpkin cold brew. I haven't tried it yet, so this will be like one of those fancy taste tests. I will say before I get into it, I'm not a pumpkin person when it comes to fall flavors. I know, I just like, I'm sure that's a lot of controversy. Um, I'm much more of an apple person when it comes to scents and flavors for fall. It's always been apple for me, um, which I know a lot of people love pumpkin, so. I got it because it was the big, I'm the person who hates looking at a menu. <laughs> so I'd much rather just pick the three things that are on like the featured items than looking through a whole menu to figure out what I want. That may be weird, but I'm thinking this is a seasonal item, so we'll see how it is. I think I've gone to Crave Coffee before, but they had a different location. I think they moved. Um, so let's see. It's sweet. Mm. I would give it like a three out of five. Not my favorite, but I think it's just personal preference. I'm just not much of a pumpkin person, but it is giving me fall vibes. Another thing that's going to give me fall vibes is I'm, I have to go to Hobby Lobby because I have a picture that has, is being framed. So I'm hoping it's available because I feel like they've had it for a really long time. So I'm going to go check on that. But also they have all their fall decor. They also have their Christmas decor. And I think I need to get, and I also need to get a frame for one other item. But I, th I should have remembered to, uh, I should have remembered to measure it. I wanna say it's 11 by 14. I think that's the size frame because that like rings a bell, like 11 by 14. So I'm gonna look for frames and then hopefully grab my item, maybe look at some home decor and then we're gonna go home. So that's my plan. straight when I was at Hobby Lobby. The only Christmas style I went to was the puzzle one. Didn't even buy one. I feel like they were all just repeats from last year. Um, but I did get a couple things that were more staples, I guess. At first, not super exciting, but it is for me because my lighter went out for my candles. So have that so I can light some fall candles. And then I got two paint brushes. I 
I started watercolor. I'm, a, I'm not the worst, I don't think. I got two brushes that I feel like I needed. Um, I've been following a YouTuber. I'll leave her down below if you're into watercolor. This is a very new hobby since Dave left. Um, but I got one that was like a really thin, long brush for line work. And then I got this really big one to do like larger surface areas. So I feel like those are two that I wanted slash was missing in my little brush collection. So got those. And then I got this, which they had a bigger one. I got the smaller one, but it's this wooden tray. I have the tray on our coffee table that is like metal with mirrors. And I feel like sometimes I just want to switch it up, you know? This could also work on our dining table. I don't know. I just feel like I could use it in a few different areas. I like that it's simple. I like it. It's just plain wood. I can decorate it a number of different ways for any different season. So I feel like that has pretty good restraint. But I think part of the reason why I wasn't spending a crazy amount was because I had to pick up my picture. So let me show you what it came out like. So this is a painting I got online and it was kind of pricey when I got it online but it is an actual painting and it is a licensed replica of a famous artist so don't know what that means but other but I feel like I just want to have like more decor in my house that not necessarily a meaning but there's a lot of thought behind it so I got this and it came out so good it's pricey to get it framed but I feel like it it's it looks so good so I'm not going to take it out of the wrapper just yet I'm gonna put it up to see how it looks in that area but let me see if I can hold it up for you uh, uh, uh. can you see it do you see it so I love the colors I love how bright it is um, I love the color of the frame that came out so good because uh, it's hard when I was in there to decide what I wanted because I wasn't sure what exact tone of the wood that I had in furniture. So I think I did pretty well. We'll have to see how it looks. It's going to be in the living room. So let's just let's just play around with it. Um, and then afterwards we will we'll do something puzzle related. That's my plan. So it's going to go where this one is, which is a picture I took a long time ago when I was in Vermont. Um, it's starting to get really faded, but also I just want something brighter. So let's just see how this, I don't know the nail situation behind that picture because it's been there since we moved in. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to like do some work with power tools. I don't know. Let's just check it out. didn't quite work out the way I planned. I'm gonna have to maybe do this later, but there's, actually it was just like very cheap nail holes. So I think I'm gonna have to figure out where a stud is because that thing is a lot heavier than the other picture. So yeah, that's my plan. Not doing that right now. <laughs> so one Instagram reel later, and I'm in my puzzle room, which just gives me anxiety. Ugh. So I really want to actually puzzle with the puzzle table, which is full. So this is the state of the room right now. We have a stack of done puzzles there. We have this from the haul video I did recently. This from a haul video I did recently. Those ones I've done. Um, so we're just going to tidy up the puzzles maybe have to rearrange a little bit here i think there is actually room in the puzzle cabinet let's go check all right so yeah there's room oh well, yeah so i think i'll put some in here and we'll figure out which puzzles i want to do this weekend but hey oliver so i have you on the tripod and i think my plan of attack is just to Put away some of the puzzles that I either have done or don't plan to do anytime soon and put those in the cabinet. 
And then puzzles that I want to like choose from are the ones that are going to go here, <laughs> maybe. So that's my plan. Or do I want to make it look more cute where it's more fall colors out? And then, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet. But I do know this needs to change so I can actually function in here. Um, I wish this room had better lighting. It just doesn't. So... That's all I got for you. <laughs> you need to do something though. Um, first, let's move this stack of done puzzles because they'll go in a future video where you can see all the puzzles I've done recently. <sighs> let's move this in. And now let's take this box out. So I definitely want my Magnolia puzzles out because they are both new and exciting and the colors are super cute. I'll also put this Nova puzzle out here too. So I need to take some puzzles off. That's my, what I need to do. So Falcon will stay out. So I think I'm going to put the done pile here of the boxes. So that way when I go to film my video it's all together. So this one's done and empty. I also did both of these, actually. Um, I never took a picture of this one, uh, but it was super fun. I really enjoyed it. People said it was really difficult. I could see that because it's very black and white, very grayscale, but I have done a few grayscales in the, in the past, and so this had enough color to work with. There's a larger black section, but the I'll, I'll talk a little more in the video, but I actually did really enjoy this one. I also have the Alice one. This can go back. I think I'm gonna put my magnolias there. So I have four. What? Really? Shh. Shh. All right, so I think I made enough space on here. I'll show you my plan. I still have a little bit of space left in that cupboard. So I think I might just move a few more things and I'm mean, making my pile over here of puzzles that I've done recently that I'll show in a future video and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, there's just so many. The reason I'm really adamant about just doing puzzles for the next couple days, I might do the same thing next week too, so let me know if you're into it. But it's because I have officially hit over 100 puzzles on my to-do list. I need to knock that down because that just makes me really stressed. I mean, puzzles aren't stressful. They're super fun to do. But having that many in my to-do list is just, it's just too much. So I'm going to finish rearranging, put these there, hopefully clear this whole area up. And then we'll figure out maybe a couple puzzles that we're due this week. So that's my plan. if I'm a little sweaty but I just finished this project the room not a hundred percent done but it feels a lot better so that's good enough for today let me show you where I'm at so the table is now empty besides the three mini puzzles that I'll do probably today um, I have these ones on the floor just for now but the box that was there is now gone and then we have the puzzles that I've done recently for a future video is there 
And then this is my current setup. So things that are onesie twosies, mostly my Around the World series is up at the top or they're down at the bottom. <laughs> um, I put all my bigger puzzles there on the floor. We have just the fall vibes out front and center with my fall decor and it's still a work in progress, but it feels so much better and I'm glad that I was able to clean up all around here. You know, this room actually functions now. Um, still need to work in that section. That'll be a future day, but this feels so much better. So, now the big question, which puzzles should I do? So let's pick one out. Sorry for the distorted angle, but I wanted you to see the full picture of what I'm choosing between. I'm really just trying to find something fun, like a puzzle that I'm really itching to do. All right, so I'm down here on the floor because I feel like I'm gonna do one of, one of in this section, obviously not the 6,000 piece today, um, but I do wanna do something, something fun here because I don't know, I've just been holding on to these because they don't really need its own video, so maybe I'll just add them on here. Uh, maybe Schmidt? Oh, or maybe one of these 2,000 piece ones. Don't really feel like doing the Aduka one right now because I just did the other world one from Gibson's. So, oh, I got, got a hair, got a hair, piece of fur. So I might do something down here. So here are my choices. Sorry if you're yelling at the screen to choose the one that you want, but it, obviously this is filmed ahead of time. We have a Ravensburger Disney, which is super cute. I just, I don't know, I have like fall vibes right now. We also, so we, and we also have the Ravensburger, which is so, so pretty. Um, very tempting. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I think this is how my vlogs are going to start evolving because sometimes I just don't want to leave the house and puzzling for two days straight just seems awesome. Uh, so let me know if that's how you want my vlogs to go. Uh, this one here, it's so cool though. This Aduka one. It's 2,000 pieces. Again, I just did the Gibson, so I'm not really itching to do another world puzzle, but it's very cool to look at. So those are my larger ones. I also have a buffalo, a couple buffalo ones. Don't really feel like doing those. Hmm. It's like I want to puzzle, but I don't know which one I want to puzzle, except the ones, but I do know the puzzles I don't want to do. It's almost like if you are going out to eat and you're like, I don't know what I want. And then someone chooses and you're like, no, not that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that big this weekend. Maybe next, I'm saying weekend, but I know it's Monday and Tuesday, but it's my weekend. So I think I might do one of those next week. But oh, this one is fun. This 2000 piece one. I don't know. The other ones that are calling to me right now, we have two from Schmidt. And we have this one, which is just cool. You know, it's this cool puzzle to look at. I've never done the brand before. So, very tempting. I have the Ravensburger, the like creepy empty carnival one, or abandoned carnival. Also very tempting. Also gives me like fall vibes, but like, Halloween. Like, I feel like this should be in October. That's my plan. I'll do this one in October. We have some, uh, we have some Euro graphics, which just don't feel like, and then we have this one, which, oh, calls to me. I'm guessing because I had that type of reaction, this is the one I'm going to do. So this is the Schmidt, what's it called? So I'm going to do this one, I think. It's the Schmidt Magical Journey. It just is so fun. It's definitely like Harry Potter Hogwarts. We have the train, which is not, so it's, I'm guessing it's not licensed with Harry Potter, but it has all the feels because we have like the owl, we have a globe, it's very magical. We have hot air balloons, which you guys know I love. We have this train coming out of the pages that are in a painting. Like, it's just, it's just fun. So I'm gonna do that one. Also, I'm thinking about maybe watching Harry Potter while doing this, because I haven't watched them in a while. So if I can find them online, which I'm sure I can, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna watch Harry Potter, do the Schmidt puzzle, and that just sounds like a fantastic 
evening. So keep me accountable to the things that I've mentioned. I'm going to do the abandoned one in October. I'm thinking I'm going to do the 6,000 piece one during my first school break and maybe a 2,000 piece one next weekend. So that's my plan. <laughs> um, but today we're doing this one. I don't know if I'll finish it today, but between today and tomorrow, we're going to do a couple puzzles and it just sounds like a 